how's it going on so I'm back with an all new video and today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can lower down your ping in Fortnite or any else now if literally you're facing problems like high ping and lag then here are the things that you literally can do inside of Fortnite now Fortnite and any other game if you're playing online then this would be it for that and let's get started simply the first thing that you need to do would be checking off and removing your temporary files the very first thing would be open up run and press temp percent temp and that just delete this all i'm going to be speaking, skipping it because it's being used and run and this was one of the basic steps that was to be done now let's go to the ping pad now there should be some video showing you to uh, mess up with ip config uh, i don't uh, probably think that you need to do anything with that because for some people it might work and for some people it for whom it won't then this is gonna cause further more trouble so the first thing that you need to do open up cmd using command prompt we run as administrator we're not gonna go into deep commands and any modify any deep settings of ip config but we're gonna be doing the simple things going to ip config slash flush dns this is gonna remove the dns one and everything that we do not need now let's open up chrome let's go to google and just type in open dns ip it is dns but there are people say it ip so this is the what we, what we need right now let's go to in control panel and once you're in this control panel go to network and internet go to network and sharing center from here check your connection go to properties and here in properties go to tcp ipv4 and just feed those address in from chrome the first one the first and second one the second one is two it's gonna be the preferred one and alternate click validate settings upon exit click ok close and close now just cancel this now what we need to do here would be to maybe just clear this for a while let's type in ip config and slash and register dns make sure that you enter a space here don't forget the space here i pretty much want one that's for press enter and that is going to take a bit of time and that is going to be doing it for you okay now the next thing that you need to do would be to restart your PC or not your PC your router and your PC okay now comes the second step uh, we're gonna be resetting the IP and the windsock layer so how you can do that just open up CMD again this is the second step since I just closed that and just type in netish this is gonna be INT IP reset the netish is a command for network protocols and INT for uh, integer and IP reset let's press enter and make sure that you are as an administrator this is this isn't gonna work now type in netish winsock it's winsock not winshock it's winsock w-i-n-s-o-c-k and all these commands are given below in the description and reset press enter now for this to work you must restart your computer okay so once you restarted it you're gonna be doing the rest the next thing that you want to do here would be to disable your background services. Open up task manager by pressing control, shift and escape and find the things that are not needed. For example, I don't need Chrome. So the first thing that I want to do is I'll just to close Chrome because it's going to eat up more network memory. You can filter network by clicking onto that so you can see what services are using more network than compared to what are not. Simply click on names again to filter it out. For example, Cortana, not needed. I don't need this everywhere for a while to popping up. Skype is not needed. I know it would pop up again, not to worry about it. Uh, I'm not going to close the VPN. I'm going to be doing something with that. And there's pretty much nothing that is that will be using internet instead of just Team Viewer. So I can click and I think it's running. Let's close it from there. Okay. Now, the second, third thing that you need to do would be to disable Windows Update. Now, Windows 7 users can simply go ahead and disable their update. And like mine is up to date, so there won't be any problem. But again sometime unknown time i'm playing fortnite and there might be an update it's gonna automatically start downloading so how you can disable that in windows 10 and windows 8 is simple just go to services in task manager click on open services once you're inside an open services folder uh, just click anywhere on these icon uh, on these uh, deal of or these i don't know what they're called services names press w on your keyboard come down you're gonna see windows update go to properties and if it's running just uh, stop it and then set it to manual or disable that will be it 
Now one more tip, when you're playing a game or playing Fortnite then I prefer you to disable this background intelligent transfer service. What it does that it such as Windows updates in MSN Explorers or Bits which is literally background intelligent transfer service it automatically uses your network bandwidth whenever a PC is idle. So it always uh, thinks that your PC is idle. So pretty much you want to just stop it and then start playing and when you restart your PC it's automatically going to be enabled. So you need not to worry much about it. The last thing that you can do here would be something a bit different uh, it won't be something like that but we're gonna be working over to a softwares uh, section what we call is as a VPN VPN is a virtual private network and this helps a lot for um, like I mean decreasing your ping and sometimes like if I'm from India I can connect to India from here simply click over to that and it says connecting to India and once it does that that will be it and I will be connected to my local server and that is gonna come up with very very low ping I don't know need not to worry I see a lot for these you can even zoom in there are a lot of things here and if you want some free VPNs make sure that you follow me on Instagram it's underscore hey sort of I think you can DM me and I can pretty much give you some uh, free VPN or wipe of I, I don't think pretty much will be like that so I hope you enjoyed this video these are the things that you can do literally do not trust any other source like which I'll ask you to modify your IP because they are gonna cause a lot of trouble simply close your background services simply close your computer services that are not needed make sure that you're using Ethernet connection instead of wireless connection and also make sure that any extra of your device is not using your Wi-Fi so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more. Uh, I'm sourcing it off for first day and signing off. Now that, that you watched the video, it's the perfect time to click on the subscribe button and like this video. Also, make sure to check out other videos popping in front of you.